Hey, hey gamers, in the shop today using the new beaver bug mold from Do It Molds, four and a half inch um, creature bait. And we got some sprayed grass uh, heating up in the microwave. Just want to show you what I've made so far. I'm uh, going to make a, was making some laminates earlier, actually swirl patterns. And it was more or less milking the cow with the laminator bass tackle injectors. Um, so made some black and blue a swirl and then uh, some watermelon green pumpkin swirl. Um, first time kind of doing the whole milking the cow thing. Um, worked out okay. Um, I know England AI makes a, uh, a blending block that probably makes life a little bit easier but uh, didn't have it, needed to make it so you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, earlier made some um, ju um, red bug and then also green pumpkin um, for custom order. So putting the do it mold uh, for the beaver bug um, through its paces and it's, it's doing really good. So got the stuff in the microwave and let's see stuff should be the temp yep get the injector going This makes life a lot easier just be using the not having to milk the cow on this. Take these back in the microwave, let them stay warmer longer. And uh just so you know, for sprayed grass, uh, it's a laminate of watermelon, so make your watermelon color as normal, and just put blue flake in it. So it's watermelon colorant, a lot of blue flake, and then the other side um, is basically a charcoal or smoke color, and basically it's the clear plastic with just a couple of drops of black. Um, kind of do that to taste. You don't want it black, but you just kind of see-through-ish kind of with a lot of purple flake. Um, I know I use both the small purple flake and big purple flake and I only had, uh, well for the blue I had both sizes of blue too. So like a bigger blue and a small blue flake and it turns out really good. It fills in nice. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what they look like. I'll show you the mold too. These molds I really like because they don't have any of the screws. I mean, the screws are nice, and I know some people take those off and take the bolts out and just clamp them together. Um, you just gotta watch the pressure on the clamps. But these, they're hinged here. So, you know, I did have them clamped together, so you just gotta be careful of the pressure. Just open it up, and there it is. It has a really small runner on it. Uh, so you're not wasting a lot of plastic. So you know, there's one of them. I'll put it over in the light here in a minute. And then just close it down, open the next. Put that one down. And the third. And while we're here, uh, before I show the color there, but these molds, um, as I said, um, they hinge, so it makes it really nice and easy, uh, you know, when you're not holding a camera. And then, now the one thing about it is it's not CNC, so it's not like polished. Um, so some people like a duller look and on the lures, uh, some people like the polished look, so it depends, this would give you both. Um, if you do want the polished look, I've heard of some people put in spraying like a heat resistant enamel in here uh, in the mold part, like taping everything up and then just spraying it in here and that's supposed to last a while. I've never tried it. But what I have used is this uh, 
Loroplast. Um, you know, that'll a thin coat of that in there will make them shiny and uh, last for several pours or injections. Um, worm oil will also, you know, light coat of worm oil in here will make them shiny too. Um, and that'll last for a few injections as well. So, you know, this kind of gives you the both of both worlds. I kind of like the more, uh, you know, not as polished look. Some people rub that off anyway when they get new lures. Good. So anyway, let's go around to the table and the lure itself. Nice, there's the one side and then there's the tail and the other side, the watermelon with the blue. Um, and it turns out nice. Um, now, you know, these do, you know, obviously with these baits you can pull these apart here and let, let them flap independently or if you want to keep them together that's fine too. Um, but anyway, here's sprayed grass in the Do It Beaver um, Beaver Bug Mold and four and a half inch. Um, got them through Barlow's Tackle, um, or you can go to Do It's website itself. Um, I was going to get through Do It's website, but they were out of them. The Barlow's Tackle, uh, they had them in stock, and that's where I got them. Um, then I used the Bass Tackle um, dual injector. Um, makes life easy. And then, of course, the the, bent, the block for that, uh, which comes with the dual um, injectors. Anyway, A Game Custom Lures, uh, like and subscribe. And we'll be doing some more. Um, I, we recently got a Anglin AI um, AR worm in the six inch. So I'll do a review on that one coming up soon. Uh, those turned out really nice in our first runs through it. So look out for that one. Thanks and have a good one.